Hi, I'm Jimmy Bell with Wild for Outdoors. I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about some of the bait laws in Minnesota and really our interpretation of what those laws are. I really believe it's important for people to know because there's a lot of invasive species that are coming in and out and really we want to understand what can we do and what can't we do. So the first thing that's going on is really what the state is trying to do is to keep you from moving water from one lake to another lake because that's the chance that you're going to have to really introduce invasive species from one side to another. So the reason that you got to pull your boat plug, drain your live wells, drain your bait wells is all to protect the waters that we have right now. Now the way that I read this law is it is legal for me to have water in a cooler in the boat. So I have well water in that cooler, I have bait bags, I take those bait bags, I then can transport that bait into the boat, putting it into some device that's going to help me keep that bait alive. Something with an oxygenator in it, something like that that really helps me keep that bait alive. When I'm done for the day, the other key point is I've got to take that bait without the water back, put it into my cooler that's aerated inside in the truck and I can transport that way. So the key is really not moving water from one container to another container and getting it into the lake. That's what they're trying to keep you from doing. There's also laws around transporting bait into Minnesota. And they're trying to protect the same type of thing. Really what they're doing is trying to keep, they don't know the source of that bait or that water. So what they don't want is that coming across state lines and really having an opportunity to mix up the lake get stuff in there that us as fishermen really don't want to have there. Now one of the factors that we've got to always keep an eye on is how do we keep that bait alive going back and forth and it's critical to us walleye guys that we want to do that. So we make sure that we've got additives, we've got all the different things that we need to have and make sure that bait stays lively back and forth. Now one thing that we want to emphasize here is this is my interpretation of the law. Go out Talk to the DNR, talk to the different states, understand it for yourself, that way you're protected. You don't want to get that ticket and we don't want this invasive species coming in and out of our water base.